All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the input function in Python. So Python has this really great function that is this built-in input function, which basically allows you uh, as the coder, as a programmer, to ask for the user's input on something. So let's let's kind of break this down. So usually, let's say you wanted to define something. So it would be, I would hard code it as 10. And so when I go print B, I have 10, that is a hard coded, value within it. And I mean, this could be fine if that's really going to do, but also it could be, you know, a little inaccessible or a little, uh, a little too rigid. You want it to be a program that can take in inputs and constantly adjust and, and provide outputs based on what information is, you know, being received or if it's changing. For example, you're calculating the area of a triangle. Well, you don't want your program to just rely on having a couple inputs that are hard coded and you have to go in and change it each time. No, you want the user to be able to say, hey, no, my base is 10 or my base is 20, so on and so forth. So let's talk a little more about this input function. And so how this input function works is there's a few different ways. So if I were to type in, let's go value, and we're set to equal um, input, okay? If I run this, my value is now gonna ask the user to provide something. So if I type 15, perfect, and then I go print value, I can see value is now 15 because I asked for that input from my from my program. And if I run it again, I can put in 100, print value again, it's now 100, all right? And so there are a few cool things you can do with this, especially if you're um, making more of a, not a more complex, but your program with a little more intricacies to it. So for example, name, it's a very common one. Maybe everyone's name is different, so you'll probably want to get this input within it. So let's do it this way. So if I go name, and I go input, and I can even add a little bit of text. So what is your name, okay? And I run that, well, it's gonna ask you what my name is. Well, my name is Gav, and, oh, I guess I probably add the space. Do that, what's your name, Gav, perfect. Now if I print name, I'll get Gav. 